Jamie Caldwell, One Minute Out. I want to talk to you about shooting your pistol with night vision or under night vision. You know, here I've got my new Walther PDP. I've got my Aimpoint Acro red dot sight, and I do have on here a white light. This is a Surefire X300. Now, I've got a couple different options. You know, for me, anytime in combat when I had to go to my pistol and I was already under nods, there was no sense in taking that extra time to flip your nods up. You really don't need to. Even, you know, if you're running iron sights with a white light, then you can just simply tilt your head back. You can look under your nods. You know, and that's another thing is, you know, I stress this a lot of my classes is get rid of those eye cups. So if you're in night vision, whether it's a PVS-14 or, you know, your PVS-31s, any type of dual goggle system, if it comes with eye cups, get rid of them, all right? Because what's happening is you're just reducing your field of vision outside of your night vision, right? Our night vision only gives us 40 degree field of view, whether that's a single or a double or 98 degrees if you're lucky enough to have a pair of panos. But generally, you're going to have 40 degree field of view. Now, our human eye has 200 degrees of field of view. So we don't want to just go down to 40. By getting rid of those eye cups, now we can still see around our night vision. And that's what we're going to do when we transition or we want to shoot our pistol. Is when we're under nods, we can easily just tilt our head back and either hit our white light and it will illuminate our target and it's going to illuminate our irons. Or if we've got a red dot, I don't even need to do that. I keep my night vision down and I just push the pistol out, present, and I'm able to see my red dot no problem through my night vision. Now, this Aimpoint Acro actually has four different brightness settings in the night vision setting. So it starts off when you fire this up on seven as the brightness, you got 10 different levels. And all you have to do is dial it down, check out, make sure that you're in a setting that will work with your night vision for the way that your stuff is set up, right? And that is it. That's all you need to do for nighttime. So once you're under nods, you can look straight through. You don't even need your white light. You'll be able to see your target, see your dot, and execute. All right, so let's go ahead and go through what I would do first with just my white light. So I'm going to go under nods, look underneath my nods, utilize my white light, the red dot, and be able to see and shoot at my target. All right, there it's nice and easy. All I have to do is I can still see everything that's going on under my night vision. I've decided I needed to go to my pistol, just look up, look underneath them, engage that threat, engage that target, white lights on, and then I tilt my head right back down, I'm back under nods and being able to see everything else that's going around. Now, if I didn't want to utilize my white light and I just wanted to utilize the red dot, I can still do that with this acro, just looking right through my night vision. So as soon as I come up here, I come right up, now I can see my red dot and I'm easily able to engage. It's as easy as that when we're shooting under night vision, not much difference, just get yourself a good red dot or if you have irons, make sure that you've got that white light and you can effectively engage any targets at night under nods.